All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room US. Uh, today we're going to be talking about MIDI and um, recording our MIDI data, specifically with apps that don't um, have MIDI out on them already. So, for instance, I've been playing a lot with M3000, uh, the Ultimate Edition here. Super fun app, you know, a lot of great sounds inside of it. And uh, I've been playing with Ableton here using Apollo Sound Injector to do this wirelessly here. So you can see it's on lane three there. It's reading our audio uh, wirelessly, which is awesome. But I also want to wirelessly send this MIDI data here. So I, in my last video, I talked about RTP MIDI and how we can actually you know, do the sending of that data. But what I want to talk about now is being able to record this, um, you know, even though it doesn't support MIDI out. So what we can do is we can use a little workaround here. And let's use Magellan. And what this will allow us to do is Magellan can now send, um, by using an app that does support MIDI out, we can send it to both places. We can send it to, to the computer and to M3000. So over in your preferences, just make sure that your MIDI out is on channel one for M3000 at least. You know, make sure that it lines up for whatever, uh, you know, whatever channel you want to use. So I'm also going to turn down our volume here. So now... We can hear that we are playing M3000 from the Magellan keyboard, and we can record, I don't know if you saw the little meters moving there, but now we can record this MIDI performance in Ableton. So let's turn off loop real quick, and let's just make this eight bars or something. So, okay, and then we'll record here. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. So now you can see that we've, uh, pardon me for knocking the camera here, I'm also sitting at a terrible angle playing one-handed and, and doing all sorts of fun stuff here. But in any case, uh, we can now see our MIDI data has been recorded. So if I didn't like our performance, you know, there's a bum note right there. I can highlight it, you know, uh, delete it, um, you know. So it's really handy for you know players like myself who aren't the, the greatest keyboard players uh, to be able to record this data as I'm recording the audio. So when we pop back over to Apollo, we can see that we have, you know, uh, we recorded the audio there to that performance. But, um, you know, if you didn't remember what you played or if, uh, you know, like I said, you hit a bum note, we can pop back over to our MIDI track and then, uh, you know, re-record it that way. So now we could, you know, just play back this MIDI track, uh, send it over to M3000, and re-record the audio once we, uh, you know, get it, get it to where we like it. So instead of M3000 here, let's go back over to Audio Bus. I just want to show you how to do this just on your iPad. So we'll, we'll ditch Apollo Sound Injector, and let's use Beatmaker. Beatmaker 2, specifically. And, uh... It's going to open up into a new project here before it pops back over to audio bus so yeah so this is going to be audio this is going to be uh ultimate you know M m3000 ultimate edition there so we can just record right away and there's our audio but we want to record our MIDI performance. So how can we do this just with Beatmaker? So what we can do here is we can do a new track. We'll do a keyboard with an empty preset. And on this track, we'll just check our MIDI and make sure that the output is set to one and it should be able to read M3000. So just like that, we can now record our MIDI performance at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. Uh, we hit a little bum note in there, so now we can actually see how we can edit our MIDI if we like. So let's just go ahead and mute that, and, and this is our performance that we just made, and we can actually see the, the bum note that we hit there. So now we can open this up, highlight the, the bad note, and delete it. 
close it out and then we can actually whoops just delete the audio track there and now let's uh let's re-record it So there we go. So now we have a nice clean track. We got rid of the bad note that we didn't like. So yeah, so you know, basically this is just a, a very easy tutorial here just on how you can record your MIDI performances, um, specifically with apps that don't have MIDI out. Um, just because, like I said, I've been playing with M3000 a lot, and I wanted to be able to record my performance like that. So there you go. This is how we can do it. So, yep, hope you found this useful. Uh, check us out on thesoundtestroom.com if you have any questions. Uh, you know, please hit us up on Patreon, uh, backslash thesoundtestroom there. Always appreciate the support, everybody. Keep on watching, and uh, Doug and I will see you again real soon. All right, take care.